Hello, this is Michael with Piano with Michael.com. Today I'm going to discuss what I've learned about the neuroscience of playing the piano and how ambidextrous development through music can greatly exercise the brain. Learning, playing, and creating music on the piano or digital keyboard has greatly enhanced my analytical reasoning and creativity even after normal brain maturation and I'm hoping this video provides some testimony on my assertion. This is a very simplistic and broad view of the neuroscientific process of playing the piano but I'm hoping that it'll provide a compelling reason for some of you to get started on your musical journey and of course to get your kids started early. So let's take a look at the brain. The brain is one of the most complex systems in the known universe. There are over 86 billion neurons that allow for movement, sensation, emotion, memory, and complex thought. And there are over 100 trillion synaptic connections between those neurons. The process of movement and sensation requires a complex series of neuronal communication and synaptic firing between multiple regions of the brain. The prefrontal cortex, the visual cortex, auditory cortex, the somatosensory cortex, the premotor and supplementary motor cortices, subcortical components of the basal ganglia, the thalamus, the limbic system, the cerebellum, and the brainstem, and in both hemispheres. The homunculus map illustrates that there are vastly more motor neurons and sensory neurons allocated for the hands and fingers than for most all other body parts. This allows for extremely complex hand and finger configuration of movements, very fine motor control, and highly acute tactile sensation. One really just needs to move and rotate their fingers to truly understand the degree of sensitivity and flexibility of our fingers. Both hands and fingers are controlled by the opposite side of the body known as contralaterally. 90% of society is right-hand dominant, which may lead to more robust neural communication pathways through various cortical and subcortical regions, higher volumes of neurotransmitters release in synaptic clefts, and a greater density of dendrites for those processes associated with right-hand finger fine motor movement and control. Conversely, left-hand dominant persons may have other neural communication pathways and elements more developed, leading to a greater accentuation of certain associated cognitive functions than right-handers. Complex pattern movements on the piano using both hands utilizes more motor and sensory neurons than any other voluntary muscular body movements. This ambidextrous use of fine motor movements in both hands while playing the piano requires one of the greatest complexity of communication processes through multiple regions of the brain. This process of developing neural communication efficiencies in both in synaptic transmissions and additional myelination of axons through complex ambidextrous coordination may allow for more efficient cognitive processes that utilize the same cortical and subcortical regions and communication processes. The practice of improvisation on complex finger patterns and variable touch sensitivity may further activate more neuronal regions responsible for abstract idea genesis and spatial rendering. Improvisation with complex finger movements in both hands simultaneously requires additional reassessment communication through the basal ganglia, the cerebellum, and motor and somatosensory cortices, which may induce more axonal myelination and greater efficiencies in chemical transmission through synaptic clefts. Complex ambidextrous piano playing may contribute to more myelination of axons through the corpus callosum, 
allowing for faster communication speeds between both hemispheres. Faster communication through the corpus callosum may allow for cortical regions in different areas in both hemispheres to interact more efficiently, allowing quicker response, sophisticated comprehension, and multidimensional reasoning. The comprehensive neural activity and communication through the many different regions in both hemispheres of the brain that is required to perform complex ambidextrous patterns on the piano may facilitate neural activity responsible for pattern recognition, analytical reasoning, creative special rendering, abstract conceptualizing, and language comprehension. This cognitive theory is what I summarize as empowering the science mind and awakening the creative spirit. Thank you.